All right, folks, we've been cooped up in this house for about three weeks because of the rain. Being, getting through that illness. But my mom sent a couple of uh, kids fishing poles. She sent one for Maria, one for Forrest G. And there's these little, a telescope down, you know. And it was a little bit of sunshine today, but it's back to raining. I said, you know what, fuck it. There's this new, well, it's not new. There's a place I know about. Maria's mother came and picked her up. I'm kind of down today, so. I said, you know what, get Forrest G saddled up, and we're going to go try out these new fishing poles here. So that's what our adventure is today, folks. I want to thank everybody for joining us. All right, so I got the ladies trying to get Forrest G dressed here. They had a little outfit on him, looked like he was going to sleep. <laughs> He's got a whole closet full of clothes, and they put a damn sleeping suit on him. Like, no, we're not, we're not going to sleep. And if I do mind, wearing new jeans that she got from somewhere. I'm not sure where she bought those. They can't be old, because if they were old, your butt wouldn't fit into those things. Huh? Those are old? Yeah. And how did your butt fit into those things? What? It's a lot bigger now than it was. My, my, baby, just get him dressed. I'm just... My God, let's go. Folks, you see the stress I'm under on a daily basis dealing with Filipinas. Wait, the, the stress. Now, folks, let me show you a new, a new piece of weaponry I bought here. Check out that umbrella. It's been raining every day for three damn weeks, and I said, you know what? I'm not fucking around. This thing's got a nice foam padded handle. It's automatic. It's orange and black, so I won't get run over if I'm doing my walking tours at night. And right now, it's not raining, but I'm not taking no chances. This Mac Daddy's coming with us. Check this shit out, folks. Watch this. Well, just made myself look like an ass because I got to tie it off. But anyhow, I'm proud of my new umbrella. Be some walking tours in the rain now. All right, got my man Jason in the Lamborghini. Curbside service. How you doing, my friend? All right, folks. When I say I'm riding in a Lambo, check that out. I mean, I got, I got them half doors on here. I put my umbrella over here. Ah, oh, man, my umbrella matches your seats, bro. All right, let me get my crew. I'll be right out, my friend. All right. How are you, handsome baby? Hey, where, where'd you get this purse, baby? Folks, you gotta watch these Filipinas because they will go shopping. They're supposed to be at the market. She got new jeans, a new a new purse. Ready for us, G? He likes to hold on over there. <laughs> hey, boy. Lock the feet on. Put the feet there. Where's he got his feet? Uh, he got his got his foot propped up on my umbrella. Got everything loaded up in the gear bag. A couple fishing poles and tackle. She stuffed all the baby stuff in her brand new purse that she bought somewhere. All right, folks. Rolling strong in the tricycle. Headed over to Longapo to this little uh, little cafe with the lagoon, the pine, I can't remember the name. Tricycle can't take us there. So we just got to uh, get him to take us to the front gate. Grab a taxi.
way up. Day to be going over there after three weeks being cooped up in this place, cooped up because of the weather. We're rolling. Hello, all right, folks. You just cross the street, cross the street here. Come on, baby, quickly get a taxi. Get one of these taxis, Let's see how much the gentleman's gonna charge us. All right, folks, we made it here, and it's just starting to rain. This place is called the Magic, Lag Magic Lagoon Bar, Grill, and Restaurant. And where it's at, that's the Subic Bay Yacht Club. So that's a, uh, if you come in, you'll, you'll cut a U-turn right after the Yacht Club, and it's right behind this gas station. Here we go. Let's get in here before it starts raining. Today's a Sunday and it's raining. So you figure it's probably busy on a Sunday, but with the rain, who knows? We're coming anyhow. Hello. Look here for us, G. There you go. The Magic Lagoon. The camera might be a little shaky because the baby is assisting me with the camera work. And look at all those live fish over there. Hello, how are you? All right, so here's a look around, my friends. We got some geese. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, let's find us a table. All right, so, all right, stop eating the strap, boy. <laughs> hey. All right, so here we are, folks. And it looks like nobody's fishing today, but we brought some fishing poles. Me and Force G are gonna fish. Best time to fish is when it's raining. Right, Force G? <laughs> Fucking man, looking beautiful. Folks, well, just as we got here, it's like the sun come out for just like, five minutes I guess you can take this table out here this would have been the perfect table for fishing for fishing and eating but just because nobody else is fishing don't mean that I'm not gonna throw a line in here after I drink a beer I'll find out what the prices are this is a pretty cool little place and there you go. It's called the Magic Lagoon. It's under like a big Baha'i Kubo. Restaurant, bar, and fishing. All right, folks. So they're laughing at me because I got the... He asked me if I had some fishing poles. I said, hell yeah, I got some fishing poles. So I got these out of my bag here. 
and what it is is 150 per kilo that you catch for tilapia and it's 250 for uh, bangus so I've got I've got two fishing poles here me and Forrest G well actually this this is Maria's that's Maria's this is Forrest G so me and Forrest G finna go catch some fish and hopefully we will be successful and there's not a lot of people here now but just give you a look around We've got a nice bar area We've got a full bar We've got music going on So I don't think there's going to be any problem about catching a fish here. Look at these fish. All right, start reeling it, baby. Reel it in. Force G, you caught another fish already, son. Here we go, folks. Is it a big one? Ooh, this is a monster. This is a monster. You got another one, Force G. <laughs> All right, folks, we got two so far. Let them stay in there. I gotta get them off the hook here in a second. All right. Yeah, I'll take a pilsen, my friend. Thank you very much. Ooh, that one's ice cold too. Yeah. All right, thank you. Folks, I'm trying to run a camera, drink beer, take fish off the line, hold a baby. Is that the first fish you ever caught, baby? Huh? That's the first fish she's ever caught. Now she's ate a lot of fish. All right, folks, now I got the beautiful, beautiful Fatima. And it looks like it's starting to rain on us, but Fatima is going to catch a big fish here. My goodness, this girl looks beautiful. Little cat trying to steal a, trying to steal a fish. She got a big one. That's a big one. What you got, baby? All right. Wow, look at this beautiful girl, folks. Baby, I got to tell you something. You are so lucky to be with me. You are so lucky to be with me. Folks, watch this girl. That's beautiful when you see a girl take a fish off a hook. They said the bait they're using is just fish food and flour. 
a little water. Push the button all the way in and hold it. And then when you throw it, let go of the button. Good job, baby. Good job. I brought Forrest G to fish, but looks like the beautiful Fatima has stole the show once again. My goodness. Look at this girl. Baby, what are you gonna do with them fish? You gonna eat them? Yeah, I, I bring these things. <laughs> Old lady's a good fisherman. She said all these small fish are going home with her. <laughs> I said, I think they're too small. We gotta throw them back. She said, no. If she has to put them in her purse, she's taking these home with us. G's sleeping. What? Hi. You gotta watch these geese, folks. You come over here and try to get your uh, baby. Get that bait. They're gonna get it. Put the bait right here where I can kick them in the head. There we go. Now, folks, she's caught a whole bunch of fish. But these fish are so damn small, I said to throw them back. And she said, no way. All right, folks, it's easy, boy. It's getting dark here. It's, it's a cool place to hang out. Fighting Mines caught a mess of fish. She's excited about frying them up. But it's, it's a cool place at night. You know, it's starting to get crowded. You got folks here on dates, just chilling after work. Sitting over there on this, yeah, I guess that's back of a convenience store, back at a gas station over there. And you can see they got a raindrop on my head or a bird just shit on my head. Fucking birds. All right, folks, so the bell is 1250. 1250 pesos. That's uh. What? 20, 25 bucks, twenty-five dollars, and the old lady racked up one kilo worth of fish that she's taking home in this bag. So twenty-five bucks, not bad for a day of entertainment. And you got a kilo of fish that they're gonna cook up tonight or tomorrow. So it's time to pay up and get out of here. <laughs> 